How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World. The first two movies are really great, and with the second one being one of my favorite anime movies of all times, will Hidden World be better than the second one? Well, let's find out. All se seems well on the island of Berk as Vikings and dragons live together in peace and harmony. Now a Viking leader, Hiccup's Hiccup finds himself increasingly attracted to Astrid, while Toothless meets an enchanting creature known as a Light Fairy. When the evil Grimmel, Grimmel Grizzly ha launches a devious plan to wipe out all the dragons, Hiccup must unite both clans to find Keldia, a, a, a hidden land that holds the key to saving Toothless, uh, Toothless and the rest of the dragons. The relationship between Toothless and the Life Fairy is the heart of the film and showed the comedic and romantic side of, the, of Toothless. There's also backstory with Hiccup and his dad that also goes into the main plot. The animation is still great here, with the great background designs showing a new and hidden world for the dragons. Now, with all the designs of the places, it makes them more unique and immersive. The dragons are also well done well here, making them super unique and show the, their personalities and abilities, especially with the Night Furies. Tiflis is the main character here. Finding out there's a Light Fury, and with him being the alpha male, has to and also has to decide to be the um, with the Light Fury or with Hiccup and stay at Burke. Hiccup is also the is also the chief now. It has the responsibility as being chief and has to lead both dragons and his people. His previous goal to have peace for both pe people and dragons are still present, but has to decide if it's the best between his people and the dragons. Astrid is here to help Hiccup with, with his choices. Um, the other characters are comedy release as usual. Then there's Grimmel the Grizzly, who's more as a sly and devious character who wants to kill all of the Night Furies, as well as use the dragons to gain power. The downside here is that he's more like the second movie villain, Drago. He, what he wants to do is his own, for, um, but with the Hidden World. The Hidden World is still a great movie and a great ending to the franchise, and I give it a recommend. So please give this video a comment, a like, and a subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.